What is 100% worse when wet? Sleeping bag. Tracking in heavy rain or snow, then setting up your tent, taking off all of your soaking wet clothes, and getting into a warm, dry sleeping bag is the greatest feeling ever. I can't even imagine setting up your tent after a long, wet hike, just to find your sleeping bag is also soaked. I don't cry very much, but that might do it. Especially being far out in the wilderness. The thought of being exhausted and soaked sobbing in a cold wet sleeping tilde bad tilde bag is honestly one of the worst feelings I can think of. As someone who has experienced it, I can confirm, it's still the lowest point in my life emotionally. Pants. I wet my pants. If peeing your pants is cool, call me Miles Davis. I'll tell you who stole those lunches. That damn Sasquatch. The coolest. Underwear. Specifically a sports bra that's all sweaty and now you have to take it off. Most claustrophobic feeling ever. Taking off a sweaty high impact sports bra is a sport in and of itself. I've pulled muscles trying to get out of those damn things. All sports bras need zipper fronts. Under Armour makes great zip front high impact sports bras. I bought one, then bought five more. Paper bags. Unless you're trying to describe someone useless or bland. Or lamenting their punching power. Or their bag carrying abilities. They're as bad at carrying bags as a wet paper bag. Potato chips. Nobody likes sloppy fries. Sloppy steaks on the other hand. But they can't stop you from ordering a steak and a glass of water can they? Sloppy steaks are cool, but I'm more of a chicken spaghetti at Chicolini's kind of guy, but then, I used to be a real piece of shit. Power sockets. And, by extension, 120V slash 240V electronics. And, by extension, bad extension cord. And by extension, the mains powered vibrator at the end. Is that not better wet? <laughs> hamburger bun. Wait till he hears about the wet hamburgers in Turkey. Wait till he hears about Krabby Patties and Spongebob. Oh fuck, I never thought about that. Shit. The ends of your sleeves. Or inner sleeve when water runs down to your elbow. Uck this happened to me this morning, not bad enough to change but enough to notice and be annoyed whenever I re-noticed it. Shoes and you can feel the water slosh inside of them. I read an account from some polar explorers in the 1800s. After a day's long grueling hike through a blizzard, one of them was complaining that his shoes were sloshy and wet. When he took them off they saw that the slush was in fact his dead and liquefied frostbitten flesh that had fallen off the sole of his foot and created a kind of man soup with the moisture from the melting snow. So, could be worse I guess. What a fantastic day to be illiterate. The face I pulled after reading that, I definitely regretted reading. Cotton candy. There's a video of a raccoon trying to clean his cotton candy and it is very cute. The video definitely goes with cotton candy cannot get wet ha ha. Also I do not know how to attach the video or I would have. Assistance has arrived. Look at that poor thing. Why did you have to do this that is so fucking sad oh my gosh. Your bed when your kids are sleeping next to you. Yeah, I'd rather piss myself in peace too. As long as I'm wearing the thickest pair of jeans I own I'm good to go. I feel personally attacked. Mostly because my 2 yo is kicking me in the head in bed right now. Then he's smarter than he looks because he's probably trying to tell you to go the fuck to sleep. A swimming suit you have to put back on. Like a one piece after using the restroom. Up to pylon, a wetsuit you wore the night before for a dive. When you wake up at 6am and put on a wet wetsuit, god it sucks. Edit, damn guys, woke up to so many fellow divers sharing their woes about wetsuits. You guys are hilarious. Until you pee in it and then it's like a warm hug. Writing, pee, writing, on, writing, it, writing, before, writing, putting, writing, it, writing, back, writing, on. Got it. A bed, imagine sleeping on a wet bed. I know some dudes who poured water on their bed just to feel cool from the extreme heat in India. That's. Away. 
to get mildew. Yeah the heat dries everything pretty quick. Gremlins. Mogwai 2. Pop Bop. Magnitude. This comment is streets ahead. Blankets. <laughs> Food. In the sink. I have a pretty strong stomach, but yeah wet food in the sink is a special kind of gross. Man everyone's been rolling their eyes at me but I finally found my people. Sink food is the worst. All my life since realizing the difference, I've said I'd rather clean toilets, or the whole damn bathroom, rather than do dishes. Gotta be careful where you utter those words though or people will think you're gross. What took way too long for me to learn? late 20s, was that rinsing the dishes clean immediately makes all the difference in the world. No dot more dot gross. Farts. That's not a fart anymore my friend. Sharts. Number 3. Edit, I am truly amazed and not surprised at the level of love and camaraderie from Reddit, engendered by one number, not two, although if you add those together, you'll get some three. And we out. Band-Aids. Even the waterproof ones. Fabric band-aids are the best. I'd kiff you've used the plastic blue ones we use in restaurants, but you can't go back after trying them. These only last me less than 30 minutes each as a bartender. Unfortunately there is still no band-aid that can compete with the finger condom of shame. Socks. Oh god yeah. If you've ever gotten your socks wet early in the day and had to work all day in wet socks, just the worst. I once worked a 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. shift at work, didn't wear waterproof shoes. Needless to say I walked around miserably in pruny feet for H-O-U-R-S that day. Terrible I tell you, terrible. That's how you get trench foot. A toaster. A depends on my mood but the bath water better not be cold though. My last bath bomb. There's that high-end Japanese toaster for a single slice of toast. Comes with a water chamber to produce water vapor during the toasting process for an ideal moisture level. According to reviews I saw the toast still tastes like toast though. Your body when taking a dumb. Talk about uncomfortable. Your ass is all slippery on the seat. Oh, you're going to wipe now? More like creating toilet paper confetti on your anus. R slash oddly specific. But not wrong. When you finish your dump and shower but then feel the urge to poo again during the shower. This is called a post-shower shit and will ruin your day. Daniel Tosh has a funny bit about it. I didn't see anybody say this, but slaps, or getting whipped with a towel after it's twisted. Dear God that's the worst. Who the hell wet slapped you? This guy. Holy shit. He had to wind up his arm to do that. And if I'm not mistaken, puts the hand up to his mouth very briefly, thereby creating a wet slap. Money, especially if you saw why. Boob money. Your, flashbacks from working at an amusement park with a pool. All the middle-aged drunk ladies pulling wet, beer-smelling bills from their bikinis. Nasty. I'm so sorry. Never worked in that environment but I can definitely smell your comment. Bread. Unless it's because of gravy. Gavin? There's the R reference I was looking for. Retching noises. Feeling wet food when washing the dishes. Gloves help, though. The Wicked Witch of the West. And the Tin Man. I'd argue everybody considered it better when she was wet tbh. Dog hair and jeans specifically. Sounds like an emo band name. And dog hair on jeans. Gloves. I would like to add, the inside of gloves. The inside of nitro gloves. They get so sweaty after a while. It's quite an uncomfortable feeling when I've been in the lab for 5 hours and the inside of my gloves are a sweaty mess. Then I finally take them off and my hands are all pruny and then they dry and they're more dehydrated than the Atacama Desert. I'm only in my 30s, but I have the hands of an 80 year old I swear. The toilet. The toilet seat. Just to you. And warm. A cold bathing suit. 
toilet paper. The T-H-I-N-K-I-N-D. I prefer freshly cut plywood, thank you very much. Handful of wood chips. A paper straw. Just sturdy enough for one or two drinks, or within three hours with better quality paper straws. Cheap straws didn't last long. I recognize that paper straws serve an important function and are a great stepping stone in the world of plastic waste reduction. But goddamn I hate them. I should really get one of those metal ones and just shove it in my backpack. <laughs>